Hello, come on in. You must be my next appointment. Welcome to the Dream Institute. And thank you for agreeing to participate in our initial trials. May I ask how you found out about us? Was it an advertisement, or did someone recommend us to you? Oh. Oh, I see. Well, that's great. So, you're probably aware of what we're trying to achieve here, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Full control over our dreams. Just imagine it. In the future, anyone will be able to come here, have any dream they want, on demand. For a modest fee, of course. You could have any experience you could think of. Be anyone you want. The possibilities are limitless. Of course, every mind is unique, and it'll take some more time until we find an approach that works for everyone. But the initial results are very promising. Please, follow me to our treatment. And here we are, the future. <laughs> uh, go ahead and make yourself comfortable on the recliner, while I get things ready over here. Are you excited? That's good. I'm glad to hear it. I do have to warn you, though. This is just an intake. We'll be calibrating and refining our system and procedures to work on you. You won't be able to pick the dream you want just yet. But I'm sure you'll have a wonderful time, all the same. I see your paperwork is all in order. You've signed the consent form and the non-disclosure agreement. Perfect. Then I can tell you a little bit more about what it is we do here. So the way we create dreams is with a combination of audio-visual stimuli and hypnosis. Relax, it's nothing to be alarmed about. People drift in and out of hypnotic states all the time. Just think of getting engrossed in a good book, or being so focused on a task that you forget the world around you for a while. It's an entirely natural phenomenon. We're just more deliberate about creating it here. We'll use it to temporarily place you into a more suggestible state, which enables us to guide your dreams in the direction that we want. That's not a problem for you, is it? Alright, great. Let us proceed then. I'm going to attach some electrodes to you in order to... monitor your brainwave patterns. Don't worry, you will barely feel them. They're very unobtrusive. I do have to lean in quite close to attach them. I hope that's not a problem. Okay, good. Uh, just hold still for a moment. There we go. That's one. Uh, please let me know if anything feels uncomfortable. All good. Uh, okay, so then just let me put the second one right here. There we go. And the last one. Perfect. All done. Uh, next, I would like you to put these headphones on. Mm, just let me adjust the fit a little. All right. That looks good. Uh, they should be snug, but very comfortable. Good. Let's get started. We'll begin by synchronizing the system with your brainwave patterns. You should hear a kind of rumbling sound right about now. Do you hear it? Perfect. I, I want you to close your eyes and listen to the sound. Uh, focus on it and try to lean into the sound if that makes sense. You're doing well, just focus on the sound. There we go. Got it. You can open your eyes again. 
All right. So, for this session, we'll be going through a variety of scenarios. Uh, just consider it an imagination exercise. I'll be telling you to imagine some things, and I want you to do your best to do so. We'll find out what resonates with you and what doesn't. It'll help us to improve our system and give us a solid baseline to start from in future sessions, should you decide to continue assisting us with our project. But before that, I want you to look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to run through several spirals to see which one gets the best response. Just relax. You don't have to do anything. Simply watch each spiral as it appears on screen. Uh, no, no. Uh, mm. Maybe? No. Maybe this one. Mm, no. I think the last one was... Yes! This one. Definitely this one. Okay, so just look straight ahead directly into the center of the spiral. And let's proceed with phase three. You will be hearing several different sounds in your headphones, but don't let them distract you. I need you to listen to my voice. Focus on my voice. Listen to my words and relax. Take a deep breath in and let it out. Good. Relax. Another deep breath in and out. Notice how heavy your body feels. Breathe in and out. Just keep looking straight ahead and you can let your eyes on focus. You don't have to pay attention to anything other than my voice. Empty your mind and breathe in and out. Listen to my voice, relax, and sleep. Can you hear me? Good. Now, I'm going to describe some things to you and I want you to do your best to picture them. Try to make them true in your mind. You are standing in a mansion with a high ceiling and wood finishing all around you. You look up and see a huge crystal chandelier in front of you. It's made up of hundreds of big and small faceted crystals shimmering in the light. You look down and you see that you're standing at the top of a large, ornate marble staircase. There's a blue carpet running down the middle, with gold finishing at the edges. You are not alone in this mansion. I am right there with you, standing next to you. Let's go down, I say. You put your hand on the banister, feeling the smooth wood against your skin. You take a step down, and it feels good. It feels right. It feels right to go down these stairs. And so you keep walking down the stairs, step by step by step, going deeper and deeper down, feeling wonderfully calm and relaxed. And with every step you take, you feel even more calm, even more relaxed, even more at ease. You want to keep going down these stairs. Down, down, down. Feeling safe and comfortable in my presence, following my voice as I guide you down the stairs, step by step, by step. You're almost to the bottom of the stairs now. Just three more steps. Three, feeling more and more relaxed. 
next two perfectly calm and at peace one all the way down now you're at the bottom of the stairs and there's a wooden door in front of you I tell you to go through it and so you open the door and walk through you find yourself in a living room of sorts the first thing you see is a large open fireplace there are a couple of logs on the fire crackling and popping as they burn you look at the fire for a moment you watch the flickering flames and the embers dancing above the fire and then you move on you keep walking you see a painting on the wall an abstract piece of art it's a black and white spiral and as you look at it it almost seems to spin slowly languidly spin around and around and around you watch it for a moment then you move on walking deeper and deeper into the room you walk past a tall grandfather clock and again you stop to watch you look back at the pendulum a shimmering brass disc swinging back and forth back and forth it's fascinating you can't keep your eyes off the pendulum as it swings forth back and forth there's a comfortable seat in front of the clock i take hold of your hand and lead you to it telling you to sit down and you sit down never taking your eyes off the pendulum as it swings back and forth back and forth I come to stand behind you and start whispering into your ears. You sink down into the chair, sinking deeper and deeper down. You feel so comfortable, so relaxed, just watching the pendulum swing and listening to my voice. You don't catch everything I'm saying to you, but that's all right. Some part of you hears and absorbs every single word i say you just let go and relax i point out that there's a clock face behind the pendulum and you see it the hour hand is pointing to 5 the pendulum swings past blocking your view of the clock for a moment when you see it again the hand is indicating 4 this Something odd about that, but you can't quite put your finger on it. Another swing of the pendulum, and the hand points to three, two, one. A bell chimes, and you drop. You are on vacation, and after a long and exhausting trip. You finally arrive at your hotel. You look forward to finally relaxing and letting go. Pushing open the double doors, you make your way inside. You look around you, taking in the polished floor, the marble columns, and the indoor trees scattered around the lobby. You spot the reception desk and approach it. There's nobody there, so you look around and you see me standing there. I smile at you and walk over, coming to stand beside you. I reach for something on the counter, and you notice there's a bell there. I ring the bell, and you draw. You are flying a small propeller aircraft. It's a two-seater, and you're sitting in front at the controls. You've never flown a plane like this. But you're comfortable and at ease because I'm sitting right there with you, so you feel safe and secure. I'm sitting right behind you, telling you exactly what to do. 
There's noise all around you. The wind, the propeller, the engine. But you tune it all out. You can hear my voice. And it's the only thing that matters. You listen to me and follow my instructions. And that makes everything so easy. You fly the plane effortlessly. You do what I tell you, when I tell you, without thinking, without hesitation. You listen, and you follow my instructions. And it feels so very natural. It feels natural to do what I tell you to do. I point out a cloud on your left, and tell you to make your way to it. And you do. Of course you do. I told you to, and you follow my instructions. You bank the plane to the left, and approach the cloud. I have you fly over it. Keep pace with it. The cloud is right underneath the plane now. I tell you to open the canopy, and step out of the plane. And for a moment, you hesitate. You're not sure if you should. I repeat my command. Step out of the plane. This time, you listen. You swing your legs over the edge, and you drop, and you land on the cloud. Everything is fine. It's always fine to do as I say. I drop down onto the cloud as well, landing behind you. The plane flies off into the distance, disappearing from view. And I take your hand and lead you further onto the cloud. We get to a patch of the cloud that looks particularly cozy, and I tell you to lie down. You scoop up a bit of cloud, kneading it together, shaping it into a pillow, and you lie down on the cloud. And it feels wonderful. The cloud is soft and fluffy and so very comfortable. You are completely relaxed, just enjoying the moment, looking up at the beautiful blue sky, listening to my voice, and letting your thoughts drift. After a while, you notice something glittering high up in the sky. It's coming closer and closer, and you watch it intently. Finally, you can see what it is. It's a small bell with tiny little wings. You can see it clearly now, and it comes to hover right in front of your eyes. It chimes, and you drop. When you hear the bell, you drop. You're at the Dream Institute, lying on a recliner, listening to my voice, and I tell you, it's time to open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up and open your eyes. Wake up. Welcome back. You can take off your headphones now. Just put them on the little table to your right. Perfect. Thank you. So, how was it? Did you enjoy it? Good. I'm glad to hear it. Just... Let me just help you with those electrodes. That's one, two, and three. There we go. We will, of course, be sending you a form to collect your detailed feedback on the experience. But I would still like to do a quick check with you. So, we did the mansion with the stairway, the grandfather claw, the hotel lobby, and then the airplane and the cloud. Does that sound about right? Is there anything else you remember? <laughs> it's just that sometimes the imagination can run wild a bit, and people think they remember things that didn't happen. We do need to be aware of it when things like that happen, so we can make the necessary corrections to the system. So I have to ask, 
Is there anything else you remember? Anything at all? No? Perfect. Well, that concludes our initial intake then. Please, allow me to walk you out. Thank you very much for participating in our trial, and I really hope you'll be willing to schedule some follow-up sessions. We should be able to do some more targeted dreaming during those. There's no need to decide right now. You can just indicate it when you fill in the exit survey. Thank you again, and hopefully we will see each other again very soon. Oh, and just one last thing. What happens when you hear the bell?